Well, joining us now are Mike Alien, Ian Castleman, also known as part of Mariana's Trench. Thanks so much for coming in. That is what we're known as, part of Mariana's <laughs> the Trench. Most, thank you very much. Just half of it. Most important part. <laughs> most important part. Hopefully the other guys aren't watching. That's okay. They, they know. They do know. <laughs> they know. Okay, you guys are here for the Saskatoon X. You were also at K-Days uh, earlier this year. You've been to Stampede before. Do you like performing at fairs, or is it just kind of something that coincides with your tour, so you make a quick stop? I love the fairs. Um, it's cool because you're only in and out of the city pretty quickly, but it's always during a really exciting time. There's a lot going on, so there's a ton of bands in town, um, and usually pretty uh, pretty good crowds coming out too, so I, I like <laughs> when you do the fairs, I have to imagine that you kind of gain some new fans because there might be some people who are just kind of walking by the stage or bopping their head in as opposed to, you know, buying tickets to go see Mariana's Trench. Do you find that you gain new fans and new people catching on to your music? Well, it is interesting because after the donuts, we usually gain a little <laughs> bit of weight, but then it's also <laughs> nice to gain a, a fan or two. Yes, you're it's absolutely right. A little bit of the, oh, I know that song. And like, yeah. they didn't know it was, they knew the music, but they didn't put a like face of the band kind of thing or yeah. face of the music so yeah and then they're hitting up their spotify account after and downloading as much as they can probably maybe maybe yeah, probably hopefully oh you guys have been together for over a decade now i have to ask do you ever get sick of the music or each other how do you kind of keep it fresh each other for each sure other. no <laughs> way um maybe a little bit but nothing uh, nothing serious we do get along pretty well uh actually very well especially considering the time and the forced company that we have to spend um uh what was the question we're actually pretty lucky music. Oh, yeah. we're actually pretty lucky overall i've never gotten sick of the music or playing songs yeah just because i always my approach to it is i always try and make it sound and feel as the best possible and really you never achieve that you're always just you know it's Raising impossible to lay something down with perfection so you just keep trying trying so um and, and we have interesting songs like you know josh is a crazy writer so there's always songs that keep yourself on your toes and lots of harmonies. So like you're saying, you're, you can focus just on your performance so alone and just trying to achieve your best yet will we'll keep it fresh on its own. And then the, the energy from the crowd gets you excited anyway too. Yeah, so. I don't know if we've ever gotten along better in the history of the band either. Yeah. So yeah, yeah so I agree with that. Whenever you see it, when you see each other or get to the airport or whatever, it's just small talk, but I'm happy to see the guys all the time. And you can see how much fun you guys have, not just on stage, not just in your music videos, but even just down to your entrance at like the MMVA Awards. Always entertaining. Do you guys have kind of a favorite that you've done or? Uh, I think for a second. I probably have a favorite. I mean, there's so many that are good. I like the, this, those rolling hamster balls was a fun one. Mm -hmm. It was actually pretty simple compared to all the rest of them. But it looked really cool, and it was the closest we've come to death. Getting so. ready, getting ready for those were fun because they always want you in like a wrangling area. Get ready, get ready. But yeah. we couldn't get into the ball because there's like <laughs> eight minutes of usable oxygen or something. So we had to. It was very like yeah, strategic. it was last minute. I had a, a buddy and was somebody I do trust with my life, and I'm like, look. You walk along the side of the red carpet while we're going to the house. If I look at you like this, you run through the crowd and stab because I gave him a knife. And I'm like, you save our lives, no matter what. We had to get in and then like there's a zipper on it. So you zipped it almost all the way closed and they stick like a, you know, a, a blower, like a, yeah. sort of vacuum reverse that's vacuum. on reverse, right? And then just blow it up and then zip it. And then we're rolling along. But I think that could have been the The crazy thing, the zipper's on the outside. Oh, but so It's the dumbest design you've they're ever totally, heard. So this person inside could be literally trapped and it's the, designed to be strong enough to be They're like, supposed to be on skiing. water. They're supposed to be pulled behind like a boat on water. It's oh. like, and the zipper, like Mike said, like the actual flat part of the zipper is on the outside. So if you were inside and there was an emergency, <laughs> first of all, you couldn't get out. Second of all, if you're supposed to be on water, as soon as you try and get out, it's just gonna fill with fill water. With water. Yeah. So maybe for the best, you don't fully think things through before you do it. Probably oh, why you can do. only find them online. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, even your music videos are always super entertaining. Do you guys have a big hand in creating them or do you kind of have producers that come up with the ideas or is it all you guys? It's Pretty much a lot of it's us, and then there's one guy we've done most of our videos with, Kyle. He's He comes up with a lot of the ideas, too, or they, we talk about them all, but we have definitely creative control. Like, if it's an idea we don't want to do, we're we'll like, no. Oh, yeah. Right. But we definitely have a hand in all of them. Yeah. So what's next for you guys for Mariana's Trench? Uh, well, we're working another album. Uh, we're more than halfway done now. It's really good. Um, I can't wait for everybody to hear this one. Um, and it's been a little while in the coming, but I feel like the pace has been been yeah, productive. It's, it's starting to like how it works is like with uh, the writing process. Sometimes it starts a bit slow, but once the 
ball starts rolling, it's kind of, it's snowball. So a lot of the songs start just new idea, new idea, new idea. So we're in the in the thick of it now and a lot of songs are coming out. So, and it's mostly good. It's all, if it's not a good idea, it gets trashed. So we try and have every song be complete and full and good in itself and not have any filler on an album. We try to, so. So um, do you have a release date or are you just gonna keep working on it till it's ready? We're gonna figure that out when we're like closer to the very right. home stretch because you don't want to set something and then either compromise the quality of the last couple songs or just not have enough songs, put it a short album. Um, so we'll see, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting close to that. Should be this year. Predict it. Uh, it should yeah. be fall, like early winter this year. Yeah. Okay, well I know a lot of people are waiting for that. So best of luck. Thank and you. And best of luck with the rest of your tour. And thank you guys so much for stopping in. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you for having us.